What is going on guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to another match day experience on the channel. Today is the... I never know the day, do I? I don't know why I bother. It's Saturday, it's FA Cup day, it's my fourth out of 14 rounds on my road to Wembley. Today's the second round qualifying and I'm at Evesham United for Gloucester City who play at Evesham against Hungerford Town. So it's a National League South tie but in the FA Cup for a place in the third qualifying round and a chance for the club who wins for four and a half grand. See, so yeah, that's my first visit here. I've already been to Coventry United, so I will put in some clips now. For a state money, beaten in the air by Craig Jones. Line from Morris, looking for... Welcome to Coventry. Today is FA Cup day, and my actual game is uh, Gloucester City against Hungerford Town. However, I did realise very late last night that Coventry United, who play at Coventry Rugby Ground, were kicking off at 12. So I've made the, well, what should have been a 90 minute drive is actually a two hour drive. So I'm 23 minutes late. I've done an Ellis plan. Ellis, if you're watching this, I'm in your boat too. But yeah, it's a, it's a strange ground because it's a rugby one. It's actually pretty massive for this level. It's a, I believe it's the West Midlands Premier Division and they're playing Bromsgrove Sporting. So go in there now, I think it's still nil-nil. And yeah, hopefully see a couple of goals. Just a heads up, if any of you are coming to Coventry United, be very bloody careful, I've just been ripped off. I paid 10 quid to get in as a student. Because I was late, the gates have apparently changed over and I'm now paying Coventry Bears fees rather than the football fees. Eh? The game's 20 minutes in and I've been charged three quid more. It's not that much of a big deal, but that's meant I can't buy a programme because I've basically paid the Coventry Bears Rugby Club rather than Coventry United Football Club. Don't really get the logic of that at all, but yeah, rip off. And yeah, so that was okay. It was 1-0, crap game. I was late, got charged too much. So yeah, not, not the best really. And it was a rugby ground, rugby ground. But yeah, I'm at Evesham now for ground 154, I believe. And also, I think my 13th in the Southern League Southwest. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. FA Cup game, let's go. So into Evesham, seven quid to get in or 13 as an adult. Quite steep for Southern League South West level. Or Southern League Division 1 West as it's now called. But yeah, I can deal with seven quid for me. Um, not the best ground for National League South Standard as cost to play in it. Um, but yeah, they hopefully, if anyone knows, let me know. But they will hopefully have their own ground again soon. Um, I think it's been over 10 years now since they lost their ground when it got flooded back in, I think it was 2007, 2008 maybe. Um, so yeah, let's say the fourth of my 14 rounds to the FA Cup final in Wembley in May, at Wembley in May. And yeah, still raising money for Prostate Cancer UK, so links in the description. Please, please, please go and donate. Um, over a thousand pounds now. I set a very ambitious target of five grand at the start of the year, so I don't think that's gonna happen, but the more we can raise, the better. So yeah, please go and donate. Decent little terrace, this one. Oh, 
Then handed out outside the area. I think that's a red card, isn't it? Rubbish red! I'm kicking the ball away! I'm not a qualified ref. I thought that's a deliberate handball and a red card. Might be wrong. But Hungerford have definitely side the better out of the two. Cracking goal, one nil to Hungerford, about a quarter of an hour gone. Thoroughly deserved. Literally nothing happened in the last sort of 15 minutes, still 1-0. It's freezing. Came on holiday for this week, so I was staying up in Sirencester. I forgot a coat and I forgot a jumper. So I've literally just got a long sleeve t-shirt. Oh, what a chance. And yeah, it's freezing. Um, so I'm going to try and go in a couple of minutes before half time and warm up. Penalty, I'll meet you over there. Been sent off as well. Penalty and down to ten men. About five minutes for the break. Should be two nil. And that's two nil. Should be game over already before half time. Hungerford look like they're through to the third round qualifying already. Not good for Gloucester. So guys, I have, hope you have enjoyed that match day experience from both Coventry United today and Evesham, but Gloucester City. 
Gloucester ended up getting battered 3-0 by Hungerford, a thoroughly deserved result for the away team. Um, so they're into the hat for the third round qualifying draw, so I'll be keeping my eyes on that. I think it'll be on Monday, um, and I'll then be deciding, probably via vote on Twitter, where to go in a fortnight's time for the next round. So check my Twitter out. I'll either link it here or down here. Um, so make sure you go and follow my Twitter, and also follow my Instagram. Close to 2,500 followers on Instagram, so make sure you go and follow that as well. Again, links in the description, or there. Hope you have enjoyed this video though. If you have, please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Can we hit 200 likes on this? That'd be great. And yeah, I think that's about it. Tuesday, I think probably Bristol City against Stoke. And um, Wednesday, probably now that I've realised, Cabra Heath against Bridport in the FA Cup replay. Um, yeah, haven't been. I've been there before, not on the channel and also not part of my Grandhopper Challenge, which is now up to 57 grounds. Still on track to beat the 100 target that I set all the way back in April last year. This year. So yeah, take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.